This is my face tracking goldfish launcher, an incredible invention that shoots goldfish at your face. Uh, I made this for my mechatronics class as a final project, and I think it turned out pretty daggum good. Just look at it. Now, if you don't care about how this thing works and you just want to see me get shot in the face by what is essentially a smart Nerf gun wielding goldfish, feel free to skip to a timestamp, which I will put somewhere, probably. Uh, don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, so now that I've got my phone professionally mounted to the top of my 3D printer, I can show you how this thing works. So. First off, I'm going to take this magazine out, and I'll show you the inside. So, it's held on by three screws that are on the outside, so I'll go ahead and take those off. Here's the base. I even printed some TPU feet for the bottom. And here is the inside. Okay, so in the center we've got two 90 degree bevel gears, um, a servo is attached to one of them, and it can swivel like that, which is moving this. And through the center we've got wires passing through here, which keeps it nice and clean on the outside, good wire management. Yes, it took forever to do that, it was very difficult. Um, and then we've got a buck converter right here, that is taking the voltage from this battery from 16 volts right about to about 7.4 volts for this servo this servo back here that's used for cocking the gun and firing it and there's also a servo down here for tilting the gun next we've got the display right here it's a touchscreen display so you can interact with it and that's what the user interface is on super nice actually then we've got a battery right here that's used to power the Arduino Mega. And then we've got two switches on the front. This one is used to power the servos, and this one is used to power the Arduino. Um, I put these in after the fact because I realized once you screw the base on, you can't really unplug the batteries. Um, I'm very smart, I promise. Uh, anyways, now to the top of the gun. We've got a servo right back here that is used to cock and fire the gun. So it might already be in the fire position right now. It is. So it pulls back, cocks it, and then it also comes forward. And you can look right here and see it fire. Once it goes forward, it fires it. And then next, I already showed you this, but we have a servo right here for tilting. And then, Hey, it's me from the future. Um, I realized that I didn't mention what this is. This is the face tracking sensor from Useful Sensors. Uh, it's the thing that does all of the hard stuff for this project, so I didn't have to deal with it. Uh, it just gives me like super simple outputs in the code that I can just plug in and use. So yeah, I figured I'd mention that. Uh, anyways, back to the video. These wires lead to some beam brake sensors right here and right here. And that's used to tell the Arduino whether or not the goldfish has fired. And that is the basics of how this works. So now I'll jump into the code and show you how that works. So here's how the gun works. Uh, I figured it would be easiest to show what's going on with the 3D model. So basically what's happening is there's a spring right here in between this plunger and the back of the gun. And this servo, when it rotates this way, uh, just like that, we'll pull this back with a spring, maybe. Maybe, there we go. We'll pull it back to this point, at which point it will drop into this slot right here, preventing it from firing. Um, and then the servo will go back to the start position like that and this little cam will push this down which will push this plunger back up at which time it will fire again 
and there's the goldfish. Okay, so this is my code. Um, it's pretty long. I'm going to try to explain it as quickly as I can, but uh, it's pretty long. Uh, if you don't want to watch this, just skip forward like two minutes. Um, but yeah, this is just setup stuff, defining a bunch of stuff. A lot of this is probably redundant, but I'm not that good at coding. So here it is. Um, attaching servos and screen, preparing that stuff. Um, there is one interrupt in this for the beam break center sensors. Um, all of these functions are like UI functions. So you touch something, what do you do, basically? Um, keep going, more of that stuff. This is where the face sensor gets involved. This is the case uh, right here. If there is no face sensor detected, it will just count down uh, like 10 seconds and then it will reset itself. Um, if a face is detected right here, um, it's going to estimate the distance to your face. The way I did this was I used Excel and a bunch of measurements, basically getting my face progressively further from the face sensor um, and getting the distance and turn that into a function using using um, using Excel. Uh, Excel is very useful for that kind of thing. Uh, pro tip. Uh, let me continue on. Um, this is same thing. No face detected. Oh yeah, and I have to put this at the beginning of every time I use the face sensor. I have no idea why. It's just that way, um, at least for this use case. But uh, yeah, so this is no face detected. Um, this is aiming horizontally. That's what this section of code is for. Basically just a little PID loop and getting within a certain tolerance of where my face is. And then just to make sure that the measurement was good, um, if we get it within tolerance, do it again to make sure it's actually within tolerance and wasn't just like a, an erroneous measurement. Um, keep going. Then after the air is small enough horizontally, I'm going to this loop again, the no face thing, same thing as all the other ones. This is a bunch of equations to estimate height based on distance, how far away, how far away you are from it and how high you are or how low you are. Again, I did this by just using Excel and a bunch of measurements and turning it into an, an equation. Okay, so then after this part, we have the real uh, meat of this code right here. What this does is figures out the angle to shoot the goldfish at basically like this, this angle, because we know a distance to my face and a height to my face, but we don't know the angle to shoot at uh, the goldfish at to get it to my face. And so how I did that was, well, I had an idea, but it was kind of bad. So my teacher came up with a better idea. And his idea was to use the root bisection method. So basically he just solved the projectile motion equation, set it equal to zero. And the only unknown we have is theta. So we just have to figure out what value of theta we need to get the equation equal to zero. And the way you do that was, is with the root bisection method. Um, I'm not gonna explain that here. You can get it explained much better by someone else, uh, somewhere else on YouTube. So moving on, once we figure out a value of theta that we can use to shoot it at my face, that's what all of this is for. Keep going, that's what all of this is for. Um, still, and then here, this is the firing part, you know, display firing. That's a function display a firing message. Um, and then move the firing servo, basically. Um, and then this is where the beam brake sensor comes in. If it detects that, a, that the beam has been broken, it will subtract one from the amount of goldfish that you have left um, and continue going until you're out of goldfish, basically. And if it doesn't detect that the beam has been broken when it should have been, um, it will declare a launch failure and the code will reset. And then all of this is just functions for the screen that you're looking at. So that way I don't have to write it in the code at the top. It's all down here and I can just call them when I need them. Um, this is the equation for the projectile motion. And this is the reset code, just resetting everything back to how it was at the beginning of the code. And that's pretty much it.
Okay, so I've got the face tracking goldfish launcher right here, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. This is for the servos, and this is for everything else. All right, so it's all ready to go. We'll go to the screen right here. We'll click begin. And I've got three goldfish loaded in the magazine right now, so we'll select three goldfish. And once I click confirm, it will start tracking my face and start shooting at me. And I've got the GoPro right here to hopefully capture me catching at least one goldfish. We'll see how many tries that takes. But I'll set up this camera to capture this and we'll get going. Alright, GoPro is recording now. So let's try it. So I'm going to click confirm and then it should start aiming for my face. Sit back, keep still, giving an approximate distance. Aiming horizontally, that was fast. And it's going to shoot. Hit my face, that's good. Aiming again. I hit the top of my head. We'll get down here. Oh, that one broke. Hey, look, it actually said launch failure. All right, we'll reload and try again. Oh, nope. Huh? Huh? Nope. Yes. Cool roll. So yeah, that did take a uh, a lot of attempts, but we got it in the end. Um, I do want to make a version two of this with a Raspberry Pi and a better camera for better face tracking and also something other than a spring and a plunger for more consistent launch velocities. So I'll definitely make a version two and make a video of it as well. So until then, bye.